A newcomer to New York City finally finds an apartment and discovers that it's infested with roaches in the would-be comedy Joe's apartment. But these are not ordinary roaches. They're singing, dancing, wise-cracking roaches. The garbage in the moonlight gives off a lovely smell. Lovely smell. Sipping sewage with my baby in a little roach motel. Please don't tell. Naturally, there's a love interest in the film as Joe, played by Jerry O'Connell, falls in love with a beautiful civil servant and an amateur gardener, played by Megan Ward. Drink up. Down and act, sweetie. Here's to life's little surprises. Let me be clear that the reason I didn't like Joe's apartment is more complex than simply a squeamish knee-jerk reaction to the roaches. I was more bored than repelled by them. We get scenes of a lot of roaches a lot of time. I wanted that romance to be more than just padding between the roach clips, if you will. Thumbs down for me. Oh, thumbs down for me, Gene. And I didn't like the roaches, and I didn't like the sewers, and I didn't no. like the garbage, and I didn't like the urinal cakes, right. which supply a very large part of the plot. Right. And I didn't like the fact that this entire movie was just filled with such disgusting yeah. and nauseating images that my stomach got queasy and I didn't want to watch it yeah. anymore. I don't think it's funny to see a guy with roaches all over his face in a comedy. Well, uh, in, in theory, we always say this, anything could be done well. Yeah. But this isn't done, this isn't inspired. It, I guess what I'm trying to do it's is... It's a dumb I'm trying movie. to give... It's not a clever I'm, I'm trying to, to say this up to the filmmakers in a sense, which is, don't think you can get away from this negative view by saying, well, they weren't manly enough to take the roach scenes. I could handle that stuff. I can handle all kinds of junk in pictures. Uh -huh. This was boring, boring stuff.